Hi everybody, this is Ruthie Readings and hi Virgo. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys today. In case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Now, at the split of the deck, you're getting Y and then the soulmate card. So, I'm getting an energy here, Virgo, that there is something in regards to a person something that you've decided to surrender some of you could be 41 or 31 years old or between this age uh yeah it's it's like an energy of you surrendering when it comes to a particular person or when it comes to a particular relationship um it's it's also like you're accepting something for what it is and I have just realized that I don't have my mic on. <laughs> All right, let me plug it in. All right, that's much better. <laughs> All right, let's see. Orphaned, hmm, number five. There is this energy of leaving something or someone behind, okay? I don't know if this is the decision you've made or this is a decision that has been mutually made between you and someone. It does look like Virgo, something recently has changed in your life, but it's it has left you feeling very lonely and depressed. Uh, you've been going through changes, okay? Specifically in regards to a person, maybe in regards to a relationship, deep knowing, 43. Hmm... I feel like Virgo, you're going through a dark night of the soul energy, the fate, higher power. I feel like um, you're surrendering, okay? Uh, some of you feel like you're you're tired of trying to figure out why something happened the way that it did and now you're in this energy of okay so I just surrender this is making you feel lonely this is making you feel like you're all by yourself um, you're definitely going through um, dark night of the soul kind of an energy okay Then you have co-create. So the co-create card is reminding you of your part. It's reminding you of who you are. Some of you are maybe at the cusp of Leo and Virgo, or you could be born in August. Doesn't have to be the case. Um, I'm seeing, um, you know, I'm seeing Leo energy a little bit here. So you're being told here, Virgo, to co-create with the universe. You have the wisdom to create something. I feel like with the orphaned energy right next to the co-create, you may feel like you don't have any power over a situation, but you do. Even that deep knowing energy is representing you, but what's a part of your fate will come to you anyway. So do what you can do about it rather than feeling like I have little to no control over something, a change in the wind. Some of you could be born on the 5th, 4th, uh, 12th, 17th okay yeah I'm, I'm i'm getting here virgo that something in your life has changed but temporarily you may feel like this is not a change for the better but it is you're getting the surrender petite card i do feel like virgo you're you know the energy is really nice for you even though some of you're not expecting it or you're not really seeing this coming okay All right, let's have a look. <clears throat> we have the moon card. Seven of Swords. Some of you feel betrayed by a person. Um, yeah, you've gone through an experience recently in which you felt betrayed by someone or you felt like you were not really getting the whole information about the situation or... It's like you were left wondering about a particular thing. Um, 
But whatever this experience was, it taught you your value, your self-worth. With the Queen of Pentacles, now you're trying to focus on your money, goals, business. Uh, it, it does look like Virgo, there's still emotionally, you know, some some of this energy of I don't know what's going on with me or I don't know what to expect really. But with the Queen of Pentacles energy, you're, you're keeping it together. And you're keeping it together quite nicely, okay? Eight of Wands, your challenge, Six of Swords, advice the Emperor. So right now, I do see some communication coming through for you here. Uh, there could be some sort of good news coming your way or... This is like Eight of Wands is a card of uh, things picking up momentum, your life moving forward. So if there were certain things that you may have felt like are not moving forward, they will. They will, okay? Your advice here is to think practically about a particular situation rather than emotionally. And what is it that you're having a hard time walking away from? Or what is it that you're, hard time, you're having a hard time moving on from? Um, Six of Swords can also sometimes be an energy of someone who's afraid of change. So what are you really afraid of? Um, of wands finding your confidence your value your self-worth there may be someone you're dealing with as well who's also showing up as someone really attractive and you may be into them um, some of you may even try something new money wise three of wands um There is definitely something, Virgo, you're looking forward to. But you don't know when it's going to happen or when that manifestation is going to come into fruition. Uh, sometimes you just feel like you are you don't have enough patience to deal with this. But your advice here is the Emperor card, which is about taking responsibility. This is Aries energy and we are in Aries season. So this is all about taking the lead. It's the leadership energy. I feel like a part of your advice in this reading is also to take baby steps towards something and you will create what you want eventually, but it's going to take some time. Now, this is a timeline further than this reading, of course. Next three years, I feel like in your life are going to be very crucial when it comes to uh, your money and things that you're taking steps towards, specifically if it's a new business or a new idea or something new that you're going to be focusing on maybe let's see i feel like there's also someone you're dealing with who may be showing up as a person who's very mysterious hangman knight of swords um what's the hangman about four of pentacles You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing holding on to happiness. There may be something that makes you happy and you want to hold on to it. You don't want to let go of it, but you're getting mixed feelings because some of you are afraid of losing someone or a particular, like there's something here um, because you're holding on to it because it makes you happy. There's this energy of awakening. There's this energy of understanding things better. But there's certainly something you have to leave behind as you're making space for the new. I feel like Virgo, your challenge and advice have a lot to do with what are you afraid of? 
specifically if it's about changing something or manifesting some form of change in your life. Let's see what's your person's energy. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Four of Wands. Um, Virgo, this is someone who does want a relationship with you, but they want to work their way up towards that. So it's it's someone here who, who does see a future with you. Uh, okay. But it's either that they've been heartbroken before and they're very careful with how much they uh, put their energy into this. I, I do feel like it's a part of, it's, it's that as well, that this person's a little scared to open up too much because of past betrayal or hurt. This person could also be workaholic or they like to work a lot. They're, they're hiding behind pain. Like there's some pain that they're hiding this person is going to be slow to commit Virgo, but I do feel like they want you. Two of Swords. Oh, is there someone here you're in no contact with? Um, you you feel like you need more clarity in regards to them, but it's like this person's like, they have their own thing going on in their head. I don't feel like they, they don't want you, but it's it's just looking like... Yeah, they're, look at that, Three of Swords and the High Priestess. This person could be a Pisces, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. I feel like Virgo, this is someone here who, who's been heartbroken before. Maybe there's something you did that broke their heart. I don't know. They're very quiet in their energy, very mysterious. Now, I don't feel like this person's done with you because I keep getting an energy that this person wants you. But there is a break here. With the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands, I do see communication happening here. So I don't feel like this is something that's like, okay, this is no contact and you guys are never going to speak again. It's not like that. Let's have a look, Virgo. Let's have a look. Um, so this is your person's feelings for you, their view of you, actions they plan on taking, where is it going, and your advice. One more card, okay. And then this is your new person's energy if you're dealing with a new person. If you don't have a new person, take this side as a prediction, okay. Alright, let's move on to your finance messages. What is the message for Virgo in regards to their finances? Fear. Oh, that's something I talked about before as well. There is something you're afraid of, okay? Overcome your fear of success or failure. Don't sabotage your own success. Don't allow your, your fear to make you forget your greatness. It may require to step outside your comfort zone to achieve abundance. Comfort, again. I feel like some of you just need to step outside your comfort zone when it comes to what you want to manifest because there's a change in the wind and it's it's moving all towards serendipity. You know, it's, it's good luck in the energy here for you, but you don't see it coming. You're supposed to be an entrepreneur or someone who's independent. If you have your own business, I feel like you're gonna be thriving. If you're not self-employed, it may be time to have an entrepreneur mindset. Consider investing and committing yourself to your own business. Your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone. Now let's see what are your love messages, Virgo. Look at that. Keep an open mind. I'm not using this deck, but I'm going to take this message. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Camera. There's someone here who, who, who may be looking at your photos.
I want more with you one day. The sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. I do feel like there's some, you need to give things some time to unfold, Virgo. It does look like there is someone coming towards you, someone who's taking you serious, but things need some time. I feel like you also need more time. Some truth is going to be revealed to you about a person. What is it? What is this truth about? Paradise, happiness. This is something positive. You have new person's energy too. Some of you may meet a new person as well. Um, I mean, I'm getting that kind of an energy. Anyway, so let's close off your reading with your bonus message. I don't know. I don't give out these messages, but this is for you. Okay, I think we have your bonus message. Nine of Wands reverse. Uh, Nine of Wands reverse is opening up to new opportunities. It's okay. Nine of Wands is someone who can be a wounded warrior, but the Nine of Wands reverse is someone who's finally open to new experiences. Okay. That's about it, Virgo. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a look at the extended, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.